Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to show you how to calculate the internal rate of return on investment using Excel. Let's open up Excel. We're going to click, click on our Start button. Go to All Programs. Let's find Microsoft Office. And just launch Excel. Now for our initial investment, let's say we're going to make a payment of uh, $1,000. So uh, Excel signifies a payment by doing negative 1,000. As you can see, there is our payment of negative $1,000. So we're going to now type in uh, the amount that we will get as a return value on in our investment over uh, three periods. Let's say the first period, we make back $300 on that investment. The second period, we make back $200 on that investment. And the third period, we make back $350. So what is going to be our uh, rate of return on this investment? Basically, you use a function built into Excel. You type the equal sign and then IRR, which means internal rate of return. And uh, open up a parentheses. And now let's use our mouse and just click and drag over all of these values because that's going to be the input for our data. Uh, close out your parentheses in your function and hit enter. As you can see, we have about a 7% uh, rate of return on our investment uh, based upon our initial investment and the amounts that we got back over the following periods. My name is Dave Andrews and I've just showed you how to calculate internal rate of return using Excel.